Hello everyone, I'm Chris Hernandez. This is the Weekly Report, a look at news from departments of the City of Kansas City, Missouri. Do you have ideas about improvements that are needed in your neighborhood and do you want the city to know about it? We're kicking off the next round of public input to gather those ideas. The Public Improvements Advisory Committee, also known as PIAC, is a 13-person committee that collects resident input regarding public improvements and makes recommendations to the Mayor and City Council regarding the citywide and neighborhood portions of the capital budget. PIAC invites residents to attend its upcoming neighborhood hearings. These are scheduled throughout June and July. The first meeting will be held on Thursday, June 5th from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. at the Cornerstone Wesleyan Church in the 1st District. For a complete listing of upcoming hearings, please visit kcmo.gov and search for PIAC hearings. During Bike to Work Day on May 16th, the city's Bike KC program announced it will apply to be a bicycle-friendly community at the silver level and a walk-friendly community next year. Kansas City has made many recent bicycle and pedestrian improvements and currently has 65 miles of shared-use trails, 30 miles of bike lanes, and 352 lane miles of bike routes. The bicycle-friendly and walk-friendly community programs recognize those cities with the most dynamic biking and walking environments. Kansas City was named a bicycle-friendly community at the bronze level in 2011. For more information, visit kcmo.gov and search for Bike KC. The school year is now ending, so swimming pools are opening and hot weather is arriving. During the summer swelter, remember to check on your neighbors, drink plenty of water, and stay in an air-conditioned environment when you need to. Avoid using a fan as your primary source of cooling and never leave children, pets, or others alone in a closed vehicle. For more tips to beat the heat, visit kcmo.gov heat. Now let's check in with some of our city's departments. everybody, this is Katie Sowers here at Southeast Community Center. I wanted to introduce a new product that we have called Fitness on Demand. Basically it's a virtual group fitness where our members can come in and at a click of a button pick any type of class that they want, whether it be cardio, strength training, um, if there's something intensity level, you want an easy class, you have an instructor right on the screen. Hey, hey, I'm Judy Brown and this is Lean Abs. We have a combination of three types of exercises today, cardio, mat, and plank exercise that are going to tighten and tone those abs. Let's get right to the warm-up. Strong arms, nice fist right here, and take the knee right up to the elbows, just warm it up. Basically all you have to do is go ahead and start a class and you can search through over a hundred different classes. Um, these can be anywhere from cardio, strength, dance, you can have easy, hard. Um, if you have only 15 minutes to stretch, you can go ahead and get a flexibility workout in. Um, all of these classes are great. They're um, professional instructors that really lead you to have a great workout. In five, four, three, two, and place it. Take it across. That's it. Only five more. I'm going to switch that. Five, four, three, two, and switch. Start here. Start here. You can pick anything from cardio. We have strength. We have flexibility, there's cycling videos, there's actually a really cool one where um, our members can actually ride from downtown Kansas City to um, Weston, Missouri. Kansas City, here we come. Bob and we stay out of saddle, bring the bum back, bring the shoulders up, bum back. Just continue with that movement. Liberty Memorial Western Auto Building, downtown Kansas City. Keep moving. So basically using our spinning um, inside our fitness area we have uh, a, basically a display where our members can really get a good view of downtown Kansas City by traveling from downtown Kansas City to Western Missouri. Uh, it really makes your workout fun and entertaining as you forget that you're actually working out by um, watching this show on the screen. You can also look at the schedules that we have. Um, sometimes we do have scheduled classes and you can view the schedule by just going to a basic schedule. Today we have it all where uh, our members can just go ahead and pick their classes, but sometimes 
Um, for example, if you go back to the 19th on Wednesday, we had all of these different classes already scheduled. So our members can daily come in and see what is scheduled for the day. For more information about Fitness on Demand and all the other exciting things going on here at Southeast Community Center, visit us at kcparks.org. Hope to see you soon. Did you know there's a way to get answers from KCPD without calling 911? The number 234-5111 is available for non-emergency inquiries. Communication Supervisor Jeannie Rast explains. The number 234-5111 is answered or monitored on a 24-hour basis here in the communications unit. Whenever they call in, they could ask things um, about illegally parked cars, about a stealing that might have happened at their house. They don't know when it happened or who was the suspect. Um, a noise disturbance if there's not a fight involved, but it's a large crowd. Stolen autos. If they don't know who's taken the stolen auto, they do have a time span, let's say quite a while or overnight, and they don't know who the suspect is, also that kind of call. 311 takes care of calls for service that would pertain to animal health calls. Um, the illegally parked cars also, if they're a nuisance or abandoned, they take those. But with us, we're more of an informational, um, where you could call, a number where you can call and ask any type of question. We do get some calls where they are not police related, but we will make references or possibly answer the question if we know the answer. The 911 calls come in to the call center and they are the higher priority. So those calls are answered first. And then once all the 911 calls are answered, it would go to that informational line of 234-51111. And that way, um, it kind of gives a higher priority to the 911 callers. Some of the things that are asked to you on the number that are non-emergency, if there's a race downtown or an event downtown or anywhere in the city, if any of the streets are going to be closed, they can call. Um, a lot of times, too, if there's storm-related questions, um, people are trying to see what areas might have problems um, to check on loved ones. That might be the number to call, would be the 234-5111. The 234-5111 number is the non-emergency number for the police. The city also provides information from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday at their 311 number or 513-1313. I'm Officer Shelley Gaddis. Have a safe week. Hi, I'm Heidi Downer with Kansas City Parks and Recreation. Summer is approaching and to celebrate, KC Parks has organized many fun activities to satisfy a variety of interests. On Saturday, May 24th, the city's water parks, pools and spray grounds open for the season. KC Parks operates two major water parks, the Springs in the Northland and the Bay down south, along with five outdoor pools and 12 spray grounds. To learn more about our pools and spray grounds, or to purchase a season pass, visit the aquatic section of our website at kcparks.org. Visit the Laura Conyers Smith Rose Garden in Luce Park on Sunday, June 1st, and enjoy the nearly 3,000 roses in full bloom. Rose Day events take place from 1 to 5 p.m. in the Garden Center, with entertainment in the Rose Garden beginning at 3 p.m. Rose Day is presented in partnership with the Kansas City Rose Society. For more information about the event and the Rose Garden, visit caseyparks.org. Celebrate the completion of the Line Creek Trail on National Trails Day. The City of Kansas City, Missouri and Platte County will host a dedication on Saturday, June 7th at 10 a.m. at the northeast corner of Line Creek Parkway and Berry Road. Following a brief ceremony, attendees are invited to take a walk and enjoy the newly finished 8-mile trail. For all the details, visit kcparks.org. A new website, kcraceday.org, has launched as a resource to locate details about races, runs, rides, and walks taking place on the streets of Kansas City, Missouri. The new site provides information on permitted road-based events and includes a calendar 
frequently asked questions, route maps, and registration to receive information for road events that occur in a specific neighborhood or business district. Race organizers can also use the site to apply for a permit and better understand the policies and guidelines for road-based events. Check out the site at kcraceday.org. To learn more about these or other events Kansas City Parks and Recreation has to offer, visit kcparks.org and click on the calendar or give us a call at 816-513-7500. In observance of the Memorial Day holiday on Monday, May 26, curbside trash and recycling collection will be delayed one day and city offices and the 311 call center will be closed. Residents who usually have Monday collection will receive that service on Tuesday, May 27th. Residents who usually have Friday collection will receive it on Saturday the 31st. Beginning June 1st, excess trash tags will increase from $2 to $2.50. The rate change helps offset the cost of the city's excess trash collection. Currently, the city spends between $3.50 and $5 to dispose of every excess bag it collects. The city requires an excess trash tag to be placed on each bag of trash that exceeds your two-bag limit. The city will continue to provide unlimited free curbside recycling, and we encourage residents to recycle more in order to reduce your trash amount. For more information on the city's trash and recycling services, please visit kcmo.gov and search for trash. For more information about any of today's stories, please log on to kcmo.gov and search for the Weekly Report. That does it for this edition of the Weekly Report. I'm Chris Hernandez. Have a great week.